Hi everyone, this is T. This is episode 61 of the End AIDS series that I began up at December 1st, World AIDS Day last year. Um, uh, it is also Southern Time Productions Funding Drive 27, and it's January 30th, 2022. And um, it's nice, hopefully I'll keep this video short because when my phone gets cold it cuts, shuts down. So anyways, just people walking past. Nice to see uh, families having fun again. Um, but uh, uh, today's issue is something really on my mind. So happy that uh, the freedom lovers around Canada and the States and around the world um, celebrated the truckers arriving um, the official day of their sit-in in, in uh, Ottawa until uh, the mandates are lifted in Canada uh, um, that some would argue go against the Canadian Charter of Rights and a whole bunch of other um, goes against common law, goes against um, all types of law um, but uh, they you know it's you know it's it's a totalitarian uh, move if you support dictatorship if you want to live in a police state you know that's fine it's good for you go for it but I don't want to live in that and um, and you know the mandates were dropped in England and uh, and apparently they were they were dropped in Saskatchewan this past week um, and uh, but they didn't tell you both in England and in Saskatchewan they introduced under the radar while everyone is distracted celebrating the, the lifting of the mandates this they introduced the compulsory digital ID for our citizens or for residents in the case of Saskatchewan um, so uh, it's just in England it's not the rest of the UK I believe but um, that's where they're starting this and that's what they want digital ID will be linked to your um, vaccine passport they're using QR codes same thing to get in the restaurant you know, and it's, you know, it's in the also with central bank digital currencies um, trying to replace Bitcoin, which is um, decentralized and puts the power of the purse into the people's hands to control. It's not controlled by a central authority, such as central bank digital currencies, which aren't central banks are just a bunch of rich people. It's a private bank. It's not it's not the people's bank. It's a private bank. People don't realize this, and um, you know, and they want to f link those to your digital ID, so they, you know, can control your every finance. You're not allowed to go spend this much money because you're not allowed to have this money this month. You get your universal basic income or whatever, or you're not allowed to travel out of this distance. Suddenly, your car will stop working. It's the digitization of everything converging biology and, and technology together that's not the world I want to live in or my kids to live in I love humanity you know I want to decide my own fate I'm a sovereign individual and I'll protect my bodily autonomy to death um, you know people have to rise up um, in Southern Time Productions funding drive 27 you know, the time is now, but, you know, any angels out there in the world who want to leave a legacy for the betterment of humankind, human 1.0, not 2.0, you know, then um, support. The time is now. This is two more days to the end of, uh, one more day, one more day, sorry, one more day to the end of um, January. I need to start, we need to start production, pre-production in March, beginning March this year and uh, to make the plan happen for June 2023. Every time we push it forward, the stakes get higher. And we, we you know, this is what happened yesterday in Canada and Ottawa, and it's continuing on, that that's gives hope to the people. But we have to, um, you know, this is a war. This is, that's one battle. We, we did something. We actually won a battle for once in two years, right? One battle in two years. So it's like, but this war is going to go on for decades. So people, society's bifurcated now. Know which side you're on, and uh, go.
pro-life, pro-humanity team. Take care, everyone. Talk tomorrow.